Today in our 2006 Toyota Sienna, we'll be having a look at our best trailer hitch options. All right, we have three hitches here today. All three of these are class three with two by two inch square receivers. Up top, we have the Kurt. In the middle, we have a draw tight. And on the bottom, we have the eTrailer.com hitch. First, we'll give you a brief summary. As far as weight capacity goes, we found the draw tight hitch to be the winner here because it does have the highest capacity of our three hitches. As far as towing goes, we found the draw tight hitch to be the winner here as well because it does have slightly larger and easier to use safety chain loops and we do have the attachment point for any of our wiring harnesses that we may have. Now, for my personal opinion, if I was gonna be buying a hitch for my Sienna, I'd be going towards the draw tight hitch just because of the added features of the attachment point for any wiring and since it does have the higher tongue weight capacity, since we are putting this on a van, there's a good possibility of us loaded down with people in the back of it. We're gonna have a lot of gear and having the extra cargo capacity for using with a cargo carrier is a very nice perk. The first biggest difference that we found between our three hitches here today is in regards to weight capacity. Both our Kurt and our e-trailer hitch, they have identical weight capacities of 350 pound tongue weight rating and a 3,500 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Both of these do support the use of weight distribution with a 500 pound max tongue weight rating and a 5,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating when you're using that with your trailer. The draw tight hitch here, it is different. It has a 675 pound max gross tongue weight rating and a 4,500 pound max gross trailer weight rating. It does support the use of weight distribution as well, but the numbers don't change. They stay the same at 675 pounds and 4,500 pounds. So those numbers, it just depends on what you're using the hitch for. If you're gonna be towing a trailer, it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna have that much of a tongue weight capacity anyway. On a Sienna, the vehicle's not capable of towing a tremendous amount of weight. But if you are doing a non-trailer application, the tongue weight capacity could come into play for you. The next biggest difference that we found is in regards to towing. Our draw tight hitch here has an additional feature that the other two hitches don't, and that is this bracket which is welded on. This bracket serves as an attachment point for any of your electrical harnesses that you need to run your trailer lights. So if you're towing a trailer, you gotta have lights, they're required by law. Having a place to put them securely on your vehicle is a nice feature. Additionally, the safety chain loops on the draw tight hitch are a little bit larger diameter. So even if you have a very large safety chain hook like this one, it gives you a little bit more options of versatility to have clearance around your hitch pin hole. We have a look at our e-trailer hitch here, which is identical to the curd hitch. You can see we can still clip on easily, but if we have a large locking device, it might get in the way a little bit of getting our hook in place. Now, even though the draw tight hitch does have this included with it, there are options available for the Kurt or the e-trailer hitch. We do sell no drill mounting brackets like this one here, which you can clamp around your hitch to give you a secure attachment point as well. As far as similarities go, all three of these hitches are very similar. They're all gonna allow you to tow a trailer, use a bike rack, use a cargo carrier, whatever class three, two by two inch accessory you wanna use, any one of these hitches will accept it just fine. They're all gonna look about the same on the vehicle too as well, since they all feature basically the same design. The only real difference being is our e-trailer hitch here does have a slightly different finish. It's more of a matte powder coat finish versus a high gloss. So it'll be a little bit more durable over the course of time too. If we have a look over the Sienna that we have here today, you can see we have the draw tight hitch installed. It's easily identifiable too because of the attachment point for our wiring. All three of our hitches will look very similar to this one, tucked up nice and tight up against our bottom of our fascia here to help give us the most ground clearance possible. Now the Sienna does sit fairly low to the ground. So you wanna make sure after you install your hitch on your vehicle that you are aware of this because if you do go into a steep driveway or go down a very steep dip or something of that nature, you do run the possibility of scraping the bottom of the receiver. So just keep that in mind. And that'll complete our look at the best trailer hitch options for the Toyota Sienna. 
We hope you find this video helpful and informative in your hitch purchasing decision.